What's going on everyone? Today's video is going to be about Microsoft. Yeah, we're going to talk about Microsoft because it's been an extremely long time since I did a video about this stock. Look at this. We did a price prediction back in the ending of August. Here it is December. So it's been a couple of months since I came through and said, look, this is what I think Microsoft is about to do. And here it is today. So first, let me extend our idea over a little bit and you can see that Microsoft now is knocking at the door of our ultimate TP price right there. See that? So yeah, we're gonna get rid of this price prediction. That is what? The close, the high of yesterday, six and a half percent. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. And now the question is, hey, price is now knocking on the door of this pocket of selling right here. So do you think those buyers will take those sellers out of that price area? That's the only way the market's gonna go up in Microsoft, the only way. Are they prepared? Because the last time we came to this price, market immediately came down. So already I'm running under the premise, hey, we can see the market go down in Microsoft now because we add a pocket of selling right now. So if it happens, you don't have to worry. You don't have to be fearful. You don't have to question, say, well, why is Microsoft going down? Because these people right here in this price area is selling, that's why. That's the only way price can move in a certain direction is people have to act. And the only way that you can act in the stock market is by buying or selling the stock. Here it is number two. The market is still strong, right? We're still seeing that strength is in favor in Microsoft. The question is, hey, will sellers begin to hit the stock? Because if they do, then we need to get prepared. Maybe the buyers were getting prepared. That's why the market in Microsoft was just trade within its trading channel right here so that they can build up enough ammunition to actually explode the price through that pocket. Hmm. Here it is on the three. This three day price bar lets me know that they're going to attempt to break through that pocket. Yeah, the buyers are. Here it is on the four. This four day price bar in Microsoft did signal a buy. Hey, thank you. We appreciate the buyers giving us that signal. Because now look what happened. The price in Microsoft did go up. Okay. Here it is on the five. Look at how strong that price bar is right here. Microsoft on the weekly, eight hours, 58 minutes left. I want to see the market close up there in the high of the bar. Cause if so, then I don't think that this pocket of selling here is going to be a problem. And maybe this second one up there around 450, 453, 455, that may be a problem for the buyers. But generally, it looks as if Microsoft is going to make another attempt at all time highs. It's like it's not done yet. Here it is on the two weeks. OK, so when I see things like this, especially on a longer term time frame, you get these indications that the market is weak, right? But it, it trades sideways. It it holds a price. This tells us that the market is buying right here. And they won't do this unless they're anticipating higher prices. Like we got to understand in the stock market, on Wall Street, in the financial district of all of the world, in the whole world, these people aren't ignorant. They're not dumb. These people have science, math, research, theories computations algorithms all in this market they won't buy a stock if they don't think the prospects of it going higher is not good that's why we are in a great spot with access to price charts that's all we need because the people with the brains the people with the algorithms the people with the research with the money they're the one doing all of the brunt work for us. 
they're the one doing it all we have to do is come and look at the chart and say all right let me see what they up to hmm it looked like they're buying in that particular price pocket right there oh it looks like they're selling in that particular price pocket right there let me go ahead and participate along with them that's it who makes this thing hard you got so many people on this platform have you doing dca have you doing fundamental analysis have you listening in on earnings call as if you have the capabilities and the manpower and the money to actually expend just to figure out where price is going to go we can utilize our time for more productive things and just take a small amount of time and look at the chart this stock is maintaining its identity that it wants to go up i'm looking at this right now in the two weeks time frame because right here that price bar is telling me hey the market is weak i'm like all right cool i'm looking for price to go down in microsoft then why in the next two weeks price went right back up because somebody bought thank you wall street again market is weak the market didn't go down in the next two weeks cool another indication that the market is weak another indication that the market is weak but the price is still going up make it make sense the only way that this makes sense is that somebody on wall street or in some other financial district in the world is buying this stock that's the only way so guess what we're going to do we are going to participate right alongside with the people we want to participate with the winning team not the losers we want to be on the winning team and currently looking at this chart of microsoft will be crazy to say that the buyers are not winning yet okay so yes let me go back to the daily and we're going to look for price in microsoft to go up now i don't think this first pocket of sell is going to hold price So maybe this next one. So our first target is going to be at the second seller's pocket, 453 to 457. At the top of that pocket, it's 3.3%. My next target is going to be at the all-time highs. So that's like another, what, 5.72% move higher. And we're going to create a pocket of buying here now another location that we don't want to see the market in Microsoft go down okay or well, if we do come down if we see price do this it just you know even if it cracks below it but it comes back and it holds then that tells us that those buyers are still there buying So we'll keep it just light that and we'll come back in every once in a while see what happens into the market give me your thoughts thanks you maintain profit and as always trade different